Member from Niagara West, Clarenbrook. There are, Speaker, back to the Minister of Finance, no doubt two different visions. Our vision is to lower the tax burden to help create jobs and help middle class families. Yours is to go after the pocketbooks of families and seniors in the province. The Minister knows full well that this past February almost 28,000 jobs were lost in the construction sector. So instead of targeting taxes that are getting in the way of job creation, the government is going to make the housing crisis even worse with this new sales tax grab, meaning the cost of housing will be out of reach for middle class families in the GTA, Ottawa and other urban centres. I say to the Minister, the McGinty government can help revive the housing market through a one-year suspension of the land transfer tax, which would save home buyers almost $3,000 on the purchase of a $300,000 home. Will you deliver hope to these workers and to middle-class families through the suspension of the land transfer tax? Sir. This member just told us recently we shouldn't be spending on infrastructure, Mr. Absolutely. Speaker. Right. He wanted to take that stimulus Great. out of the economy. Great. He tells us not to cut corporate taxes, then he's going to vote against that. He tells us not to cut personal taxes, then he wants to vote against that, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative Party is adrift and lost, Mr. Speaker. They don't have a view of the future of this province. They don't have a single idea about making, that making this economy grow faster. I say to the member opposite, Vote for our tax cuts. Vote for the $10.6 billion in personal tax cuts. But vote for a more efficient sales tax, Mr. Speaker. Vote for a stronger future, Mr. Speaker, when the time comes in this legislature, sir, because we will be bigger, we will be stronger, we will come through this as the world economy will, Mr. Speaker. And I look forward to hearing at least some element of consistency in the point of view of that party opposite, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. It's a, it would have been interesting, actually, Mr. Speaker, if the member had the courage to put his sales tax grab in his budget bill to see how many Liberal members would have voted it down, because they're hearing the same thing in their writings about this tax grab for middle class families and seniors that we are. Minister, I believe in private sector job creation, and I believe when the auto sector is on tough times, we need construction firing at all cylinders to create jobs in our economy and to help middle class families. You know the Ontario Real Estate Association has estimated the cost of your sales tax grab to increase the cost of buying even a modestly priced home by some $2,000 and a tax on a new home will be even higher. Minister, will you at least commit to cancelling your sales tax grab and provide relief to our housing industry and to help struggling families pay their bills? Mr. The member opposite again only tells part of the story. He neglects to talk about the most generous home purchase credit around in Canada when the new harmonized single tax is in place. In fact, Mr. Speaker, when other provinces have gone to a single sales tax, new home sales right. have actually gone up, Mr. Yep. Speaker, That's even though they didn't, have, they didn't have the credit we did, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our economy is in a world crisis unprecedented. We have laid out a plan. It is a challenging plan, Mr. Speaker, that calls upon all of us to work together. That's why we're cutting corporate taxes. That's why we're cutting small business taxes. That's why, that's why Ontario families will be paying less overall in taxes, Mr. Speaker. We will have a more efficient, a more productive economy that will seize the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, when the world economy begins to recover. That's what this budget's about. That's what this party's about. That's why we have a clear and consistent... No supplementary. What Ontario is experiencing, Speaker, is a crisis of leadership. Dalton McGuinty's failed leadership have chased some 300,000 manufacturing jobs from a province and made Ontario dead last in economic growth in all of Canada. I say to the Minister, we need jobs created today. We need to help out middle class families today. The land transfer tax will help create jobs in construction immediately if you give a land transfer tax holiday and help families purchase their first home. Secondly, Minister, I call upon you to have a tax holiday on new hires. Eliminate the payroll tax on new hires to help small businesses hire more people and create job opportunities for middle class families. Will the Minister of Finance act on either of both of those initiatives to create jobs and bring hope to families in Ontario today? The leading manufacturers in this province have all said that the most important thing we can do is a single sales tax that will decrease the cost of our exports. 
you know, the member opposite won't listen to me. Maybe he'll listen to Jim Flaherty when he said that the single sales tax is the single most important step that provinces with RSTs could take to stimulate new business investment, create jobs, and improve Canada's overall economic competitiveness. He may want to talk to one of his principal supporters for the Conservative leadership, a fellow that used to be the Premier of Ontario. And here's what he said. He said, provinces that are, uh, that are further encouraged to harmonize their provincial sales tax with the federal goods and service taxes, which already exempts business inputs. This would provide a double benefit by reducing one half of the paperwork required for businesses to collect and remit. Mike Harris said that, Mr. Speaker. I don't understand. New question, leader of the third party.